Norman, I need you to get out the video, my friend. I need you to get out of the video. It's okay, thanks for being so friendly. What's up everybody? Today we are going to be talking about the Corsair M65 RGB Elite Wireless Mouse by Corsair. For those that stopped paying attention as soon as I started saying letters or numbers, we're talking about this guy. Just for a little bit of background, I've had this mouse since about March of this year, so I've been using it for over six months as my daily mouse. I just got the G502X Plus as uh, essentially a mouse to compare it to and see what pros and cons I find with the device, but I just wanted to list off some of the things that I've been enjoying and some of the things that I think Corsair could do on future iterations of this device to make it chef's kiss. The number one thing that I think Corsair nails on this mouse is it feels premium. Now this is like a $130 mouse and it has, I believe, aluminum, which just feels so much better than most mice. I think that's my biggest qualm with the mouse market is that every single mouse seems to be made with a cheap feeling plastic because people want the lightest mouse they could possibly get their hands on and it just blows my mind that if I'm spending over $100, I'm getting plastic because let's be honest, the mouse probably costs very, very, very little to make and they're marking it up a massive amount for the features, which is great. I'm happy to pay for a premium product, but I, I don't know, I'd have this baseline expectation that premium products are made with premium materials and no matter how you say it, plastic is not premium. Plastic is a really cheap feeling material and ultralight mice feel very cheap. My tangents aside, or my rants aside, this feels premium. It feels nice. It feels good in the hand. You can add weights to it and make it heavier if you want. Now, obviously for competitive gamers, you're probably going to want to be want it to be on the lighter side, but just know that when you feel it, it feels good in hand. It feels very solid. Again, not everyone is going to like this, but I love how spacious the buttons are. The left and right mouse click clickers, I don't know. I love that my fingers fit on the buttons really easily. I actually hold mice like this when I'm gaming, but everything feels super natural for me. It feels like it fits very well in my hand. Again, this feels like I got what I paid for. Obviously, uh, one of the benefits of this my mouse would be the buttons on the side. Now you have the button for sniping, which I don't know that they needed to make it red. I wish they would have blended it in better, although it is a very nice deep color. But I love being able to adjust the DPI settings on the fly. I think the buttons feel really intuitive and they feel like they're in a really good spot on the mouse itself. Some of the things that I think they can improve within future iterations of this device are one, I immediately put all the weights in the mouse because I wanted it to feel as premium as possible and just like I had gotten what I paid for. Later, I went back and tried to remove some of the weights just because I wanted to play around with things and see what I thought at various weights. And it is so damn hard to get the, <laughs> the weights out of the mouse. Like, I, I was on the cusp of slamming the mouse into my desk. Obviously, I didn't do that because I didn't want to break my mouse. But I was sitting there trying to wedge needles in there to, to pry things out. I think I ended up getting two of the three out. I'd have to fact check myself here but it is so hard to get the weights out and I think that's something that they can fix in future iterations of the device. Beyond that, I think they really need to fix the RGB. I, one, I mean Corsair, no offense, but your logo, I, I don't know that it needs highlighted in this. I think it could have been a little stamp or, I mean, it'd be really nice if gaming companies didn't feel the need to plaster their brand on everything. Just my two cents. I think RGB lighting is better as accent lighting. And when it's a RGB light that literally is like red only, blue only, green only, that's really annoying. You can cycle through the colors and change the color settings, but you don't get something nice like you do on the G502X Plus where you can have like a nice flow of colors. It's really just essentially flashing different colors of light. The biggest thing that bothers me about this mouse that Logitech didn't do on their device, which thumbs up to you Logitech, they don't give a battery percentage on this in the Corsair IQ software, which means you look at it and it says high, medium, or low. 
So it'll be on high for forever, and then it'll meet, be on medium for like three seconds, and then it'll die. This is a super inaccurate way to tell your consumers the battery life of the product, and I think that that is just unacceptable. Realistically, I don't think it's that hard to build out the software. Now, granted, I'm not a software engineer or anything like that. I don't know what coding looks like on the back end. I just feel like if your competitors are doing it, you probably should do it too, because it's not a good user experience when I check my device battery and it says medium, and then it dies two hours later. That's just really annoying and it leaves you scrambling if you're in mid game thinking you have more than enough battery to get through the game and then all of a sudden your mouse, your character is just staring at whatever direction the mouse was in when it died and you're scrambling, especially in a multiplayer online game, trying to plug your mouse in. No, I don't like that. Not at all. Of course, they would do better. I know I talked about the premium feeling aluminum on the device. I will also say that I, I like the material. So not only do we have like rubbers around the edge, but there's this nice, feels like a, a it's obviously plastic, but it's plastic that had a little bit of coating of some sort put on the outside that feels a lot grippier than a standard mouse. And beyond that, it feels very nice in hand. The downside of that is it does seem to absorb a lot of your oils. It does show signs of wear and tear, something to be aware of, but I don't think it necessarily detracts from the products. You just need to be on, on top of cleaning it. The other thing that I think they could do, I think they could add more buttons to this device. Now, I don't necessarily think it's necessary, but it would be nice if you added a few additional buttons on either the left side or somehow integrate them into the middle or right side of the mouse. I think that'd be really beneficial just because it seems like the more buttons, I'm, I'm going to cut that statement real quick and say, not necessarily the more buttons the better, but two or three additional would be super nice to have. And I mean functional buttons, not just the sniper DPI decrease button. The last thing that I would absolutely love to see, and this is 100% purely personal preference, so Corsair, this is not a slight against you by any means, but make a white version, please, please, I have, all white peripherals. Obviously this is white and gray, but I have white, just, I, I'm trying to do a white setup. I love your mouse. I love it. I really do. I love it a lot. And I, I really would recommend it to a lot of people if they're looking for a nice premium gaming mouse that does not feel cheaply made. I think this is, again, chef's kiss. Just please, please make it white. Make the RGB not suck as much. And not that I hate your logo, uh, again, the logo, I mean, whatever. It's something that just goes with the territory. But please, please, white, better RGB, better battery percentages. I would be so brand loyal to you. So brand loyal. If you have this mouse, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. If you're thinking about getting this mouse, I'd love to hear if this helped influence your decision making. Beyond that, if you have a mouse that you like way more than this, drop it in the comments below and I'd love to take a look at it. With all that said, thank you all so much for watching. Please feel free to drop a like or subscribe if you really enjoyed this content and would like to see more of it. And I wish you all a great rest of your day.